In today's Medical Apps Masterclass, we will study about the anatomy of uterus. Now, let's study about the gross anatomy of uterus. To start with, as we can see in the image here, let's first see the shape and size of uterus. Now, the shape of uterus is piriform, or, pear-shaped. If we see the dimensions in inches, it is 3 into 2 into 1 inch. So its length is 3 inches, or about 9 centimeters, and, width is 2 inches or, 6.5 centimeters and its thickness is about 1 inch, or 3.5 centimeter. The uterus weights about 60 grams or 1 ounce. The uterus, develops from, paramesonephric duct, which is also known as mullerian duct. We will study in detail about it, in a separate video lecture. Now, let's discuss, the various parts of the uterus, in brief. The uterus is grossly divided into, three parts. The fundus, the body, and, the cervix. Let's now discuss, these parts, one by one, in the image. The fundus, it is the top of the uterus, above the entry point of the uterine tubes. The body. It is the usual site for implantation of the blastocyst. The cervix. It is the lower part of uterus linking it with the vagina. This part is structurally and functionally different to the rest of the uterus. Let's see, the other parts and attachments, in the given diagram now. Let's first see, the parts of, the fallopian tube. Also called, uterine tubes or sulpinges. The fimbriae of uterine tube. These are, fringe of tissues around the ostium of the fallopian tube, in the direction of the ovary. The infundibulum, is the second part of the uterine tube. Together, the infundibulum, and the femori find the oocyte after ovulation. The ampulla. This is the third portion of, the fallopian tube. It is the most common site for fertilization. The uterine cavity. It is triangular in shape, the base being formed by, the internal surface of the fundus, between the orifices of the uterine tubes, the apex by the internal orifice of the uterus, through which, the cavity of the body, communicates with, the canal of the cervix. Now, we will study about, the various attachment, in the diagram. The suspensory ligament of ovary. And, the ovary attached to it. Also called, infundibular pelvic ligament. It is a fold of peritoneum, that extends out from the ovary, to the wall of the pelvis. The ovarian ligament, that connects the ovary, to the lateral surface of the uterus. The broad ligament, a peritoneal fold, that attaches, the uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries, to the pelvis. The uterosacral ligament. Details about, the attachment and support, is discussed in, another video lecture of Medico Amps. Beside these. The lateral fornix. Fornix are, the superior portions of the vagina extending into the recesses, created by the vaginal portion of cervix. The cervical canal. It communicates with, the uterine cavity, via, the internal orifice of the uterus, and, with the vagina, via, the external orifice of the uterus. The internal OS. Through which, cervical canal, communicates with, the uterine cavity. Beside these. The lateral fornix. Fornix are, the superior portions of the vagina extending into the recesses, created by the vaginal portion of cervix. The cervical canal. It communicates with, the uterine cavity, via, the internal orifice of the uterus, and, with the vagina, via, the external orifice of the uterus. The internal OS. Through which, cervical canal, communicates with, the uterine cavity. Beside these, there are three layers of uterus. The endometrium. The myometrium and, the perimetrium. We will discuss about these layers, in detail, in separate video lecture. At last, some important exam points to be remembered are. Number 1. Size of uterus, in inches is, 3 by 2 by 1. Second, paramesonephric duct forms, uterus. Number 3, uterus develops from, mullerian duct. And the last important point, is, uterus reaches up to umbilical level at 24 weeks.
Let us end today's Medico Apps Masterclass by having a look at the brain teaser question for today. At what age of development, the uterus reaches the umbilical level? If you know the correct answer to this question, write in the comment below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Medico Apps Masterclass by clicking here. Once you have subscribed, then click on the bell icon if you want to receive a notification whenever we upload a new Medico Apps Masterclass. Do not forget to check out this next Medico Apps Masterclass, which I feel will be very helpful for you.